Well, it's uh, first of all a big honor um, to be performing and recording the uh, Bruch Concerto and Brahms with uh, Zubin Mehta and Israel Philharmonic. I remember listening when I was uh, a little kid to a lot of great musicians uh, combining those two uh, concertos on a record. For me, it's a wonderful opportunity to also have this tradition. First and foremost, I, I did ask Zubin uh, if he would be up for recording the Brahms concerto. Uh, I have uh, quite a history with him. I performed the first time with him when I was, I think, 12 years old in Munich, and I performed a few times with him in the last <laughs> 20 years. Well, David came to my attention, and I saw and heard immediately what a really unusual talent it was, because for a young person to be so musically mature immediately struck me. For me, it uh, was somebody I, I really wanted to work again together with. Once he agreed, uh, he suggested to do it with the Israel Philharmonic. I've uh, performed a few times in the past with them, and it's always a challenge. They are a great orchestra. They know music, so you have to be uh, at the top of your game. For me to have their approval that they like working with me is uh, quite big. The Beethoven Concerto as well as the Brahms Concerto have very, very long introduction uh, tutti by the orchestra. So basically you stand there on stage and, and you get into the music. On the one hand it's good because you absorb it, but of course it's a challenge because for the first two and a half, three minutes you don't get to play the violin. So it takes a lot of uh, confidence to then basically go into the concerto with full energy. The third movement of the Brook Concerto is, I think, one of those very exciting but also fun pieces, not only to perform but also for the audience. I'm very impressed of how true to the uh, intentions of the composer he plays it. He uses his technique and his beautiful sound to serve the music he's playing. And that's very important. I think every violinist has, first of all, their own sound their own way of phrasing something, but in the end, all that matters is what the composer wrote, so that's my main uh, interest. And then in the end, you uh, put your sound and your interpretation on top of it, but of course in the guidelines of what is written. <laughs> <laughs> 